Are you one of those guys like me that struggle to build a habit? You know, to some people, this creating habits seem to be like natural, like fish in the water. But to others, me included, it's like torture, it's like waterboarding. So how do we go past that waterboarding phase and use it to be pleasant? Well, it's difficult, but dive, let's dive in. And one of the things that I stumbled upon is this concept of building a process, not a resort. Because I, what I found was that I was kind of demotivated by the building of habits because I wanted to see the results sooner than later. I didn't want to, I want to see at least some kind of results really, really fast. And usually that's not how habits work. So I get this concept, you know, this concept of building a process. So what does that mean? It means you should focus on doing something for 30 or 90 days and not focusing on the results. Actually, you know, putting the results on a different pattern, different pattern, different box and not thinking about it for one to three months and thinking about the process itself. Now, it did kind of seem odd at first to me, so I didn't kind of actually resonate with this, but at the time I found that actually it's kind of interesting. So you should find enjoyment, you should find pleasure, you should find motivation, you should find reward in the process itself. So what does it mean? Let me give you an example. I wanted to get in shape a little bit. So I was the one to start the process of you know, working out. So I noticed that in the morning, I usually get up before my family does. So I get at least half an hour, an hour before, and then I just lay in bed and you know, all stuff. So I was why don't I give this time when I have least friction some meaning and go for a walk for half an hour or an hour and I didn't kind of commit for going for so and so miles I did commit just for going for a walk so what I did was I took my phone and I just took my trainers and I just went for a walk and I went as much as I wanted I went to the first bridge and back and first day I went for 15 minutes, second day I went for half an hour, and the third day I went for an hour, and I kind of stumbled around an hour. And most of the days I just went for a walk, because I felt actually really fine. I, I was alone with my own thoughts, and on some days I overslept. I actually overslept so much time that I had to bring my kids to school, so I didn't go for a walk. But on other days, most of the days, I went for a walk. And that's why what I realized what this guy Sahil actually was talking about, you shouldn't miss two days in a row. I was just missing one day. It's okay if you miss one day. You will go the other way. Day. Oh, it's some, some day it was like partly rainy, partly not. I was thinking, should I go, should not, it's gonna be raining, it's not gonna be rainy. I was thinking, it, was a, it doesn't actually matter. When I go for a walk and I come back at my own pace, at my own mind, I usually am sweaty, even though I don't like to be sweaty. So I go showering, so if I'm wet from a little rain or not, it doesn't even matter. So I went for for the walk and it wasn't even raining because it was just a little humid. It's actually hard and sometimes it's easy, but it's about building habits. It's about building momentum, it's building process. And now I usually go it as a part of my routine. Sometimes I go and sometimes I don't. But that means that usually I go and if it's, you know, I, I will sleep because I'm really, really tired, I just don't go or, or go in the afternoon because I have some kind of work, work that I can do later and squeeze the walk. Or I do a five minute work if I have really, really little time. It's just a matter that I do it, not a matter how much I do it. It doesn't mean you have to commit to one hour every day. It means you have to commit to doing it. You have if you have a little, really little time, I do it for five minutes because everybody's got five minutes. So the next thing I realized is you should probably have a goal in mind, not the result. You now the result would be I need to get, lose weight with this amount or something. But the goal I had in mind is I have to work out, not because I want this arbitrary number of weight. I want to work out because I want to feel better. I want to feel better in terms of my body and in terms of my mind. Because I have found out that if I walk in the morning, a bit more pleasant experience of my life, I'm a bit more better mood. And of course, it's good for my health. And also, I'm you know, out around in nature and in the sun, so it's also that that's a benefit. So 
try to find a goal, not a result. Don't measure results because the results are usually something that discourages us because we get some results and then we start thinking, yo, oh, it's not the result that I want. I want a 10x, 5x, whatever. But I have the goal. It's kind of a solution of a strategy. I'm doing this because of this. I want to do this because it's good for me. And the second thing or the third thing is I'm not pushed to it. It's my innate goal. Nobody told me to do it. Of course, lots of people talk this way. Actually, that's more it's not everybody can tell you that. But I actually committed myself because I wanted to do this because I would commit it to the goal. And the goal was just exercise a little bit. It was not exercise half a mile, it was not exercise half an hour. It was just do something for your body. And I also noticed it. So, by doing these little habits, you can sometimes, from yourself, create a meaning in your mind, in your life, and then commit to doing it. Perhaps not every day, but try to commit it so that you won't skip two days in a row. And sometimes it's hard, but you have to consider you're committing to doing it, not to doing it a lot. Sometimes it's enough if you do it just a little bit. I'm committing to writing at least half an hour and that I don't skip that half an hour. And sometimes I'll have time and inspiration and motivation and I'll write for eight hours. Sometimes I'll write, I'll write for two hours. But sometimes I really don't feel like it and I have wasted all my day actually. And at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, miserable because I'm just And I, my wife goes to bed and then I stay in my kitchen, I took my laptop and I worked half an hour on the project and I said, hey, yes, I have done my half an hour. Of course, that doesn't work for me. Life happens. But try to commit as much as possible and use that excuses that you can skip one really, really scarce, really rare. Because you have to pay attention. Don't skip two days in a row. And it's a really nice rule because it gives you kind of excuse. You can skip some days because it's hard. But you have don't can't, don't get to skip two days in a row. There's also an, an addendum you should skip more than eight times or something some of the ads, but that's not what I'm playing with. I don't care about those rules. It are my rules. And my rules are which actually seem to work is don't skip two days in consecutive days. So don't skip two days in a row. And also if you commit to doing whatever your routine is every day except for those exceptions you're going to do much, much more. And you should feel great about it because you're committing to the process, not the end result. So if you're committing to working out, commit to working out. If you're going to do two push-ups a day, that's great. You do it more than most of the people did because most of the people don't do anything. And if you're going to read, I don't know, two pages, that's also great. Use your own goal, use your own pace, use your own goals. But try to commit to something and build it in time. Actually, habits are built, it's really funny, from seven petitions to 500 petitions. That's the psychological research. And what I found out is actually, it's kind of in that ballpark, because sometimes your habit will pick up really fast, and sometimes it's actually taking you a long time. So don't be frustrated, but it's not picking up. But be, you know, motivated to intertwine with your own life. So you will be part of your everyday life and the failure of the skipping day will be an exception. So even though that sometimes feels like we're being trapped by our own habits and rituals, by our own creativity or not being creative and wild, it's actually great for us. Because look at this this way. When you think about what you eat every day, you think I'm thinking about what inspires me every day. But if you would look for the past or the old ash or what you ate or what you cooked, you would actually find a common denominator. You actually eat no more than five foods with a different variation of this. So are we trying to be, you know, unique? Of course. But that it's like oh, that old saying, everybody of course you're unique, just like everybody else. You know, it's finding our own place is a difficult process and you should probably stick with it. But try to think about it this way. It takes a lot of effort and you need to build a habit out of it. So habits are not something that are bad for you, although I thought about it. 
that way for very long, too long. It's actually something that frees you up. Just as I have to think about it, it creates So if I wake up every day and I would have to think about what do I wear, what do I put my clothes on, where will I go, what's the weather like, what, what, how will I reach that five kilometers, some of frictions that are, that are making me less likely to build that momentum, to build that progress, to build that success. And the success is not the end result of five miles. Success is actually doing the thing, even for one minute, or even for five minutes, or even for two minutes. So that's it all for me. Building habits is a really great way to build a successful and creative and positive life in your work environment, you know, by educating yourself, building that skills, in your love life, you know, trying to do something with your kids, with your family, with your spouse, and in your personal life, building that habits, either with walking or reading or writing, whatever, whatever makes you light up. But whatever you do, stick to it and try to make it a habit. It will make your life so much easier and will make you as a person so much better. That's it all for me. Hope you like it. Hit that like button and write a comment if you have something nice to say or if you hate it. And that's it.